This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. So we have Freightliner Cascadia trucks. They're going to be about two to three years old or newer, all automatic, and they are governed at 65 miles an hour driving and cruise. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Snyder or Snyder National. You guys know the Orange Company. They have multiple, multiple divisions there, everything from tanker, intermodal, and drive-in. I don't know if they got reefer. Do they got reefer? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But Snyder national now the reason for this make the call is because they was on the list of companies that offers sap, that offers help to sap drivers to get them back on the road unfortunately that will be resulting no they don't help sap drivers they don't hire sap drivers and they don't help with the return the duty status sorry about that sap drivers that's when you guys look up for companies that that will accept sap drivers and they come out with a list like that you got to do your due diligence and find out if it's for certain snyder they are looking for you of course the young lady said in the call she said you don't need no experience why because they have their own training to help you get your CDLs if you don't have it. Driving opportunities. They have truckload. They got dedicated. They got intermodal. They got tankers. And they run a little bit of Canada. If you guys like to know more about Snyder, Snyder National, stay tuned. <laughs> Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Yeah, we look at everybody on a case-by-case -case basis. So whether that's for background, motor vehicle record, or work history, that's why we look at everybody on a case-by-case -case basis. Let me be a little bit more specific. So a driver is on step six of the SAP program in the SM, I mean in the SA, in the FACSM clearinghouse. Do you guys help with the return to duty status uh directly no we don't that's that's what i mean how much experience do you guys require uh with schneider technically you don't need any at all how do you mean schneider does not require experience now the positions themselves may or may not require them depending on availability but schneider as a whole no we do not require experience uh, so you you saying that you will help help people get their cdl if they don't have it yeah we've done that too uh, Pre-employment drug screening, hair follicles, urine, or both? Uh, technically, we do ur urine and hair strand, not hair follicle. What's the difference? Hair follicle is physically ripped from your head. Hair strand is just close to cut, cut close to the your head. So you guys have multiple divisions there, like tankers, drive-in, reefer, intermodal. What 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 lanes are available for those, and do you run Canada? Uh, we may. It's very rare, but we have had loads run into Canada, not based out of Canada. And then, as far as the position wise, it just depends on availability of what's available. So each position can be different. Mileage pay? Do you guys pay by the mile or percentage? Um, definitely not percentage, but the positions themselves could be per mile hourly load pay flat rate so that's also something that is dependent on the positions itself so being that it's different positions it, it will be different amounts coming into right correct could you give me an example of one say like if i want to do over the road drive-in what would be what would be the cent per mile on that so i don't have that information unfortunately because every position pays differently so essentially with us, when an application submitted, that's when we're able to bring up the breakdown of pay of exactly how it's going to be paid out. How are the miles calculated? Is it zip to zip or practical miles? Practical miles. Do you guys reimburse for phone use? Or let me rephrase that. So 
as far as dispatches goes, do you guys have a, a truck computer for that, or do the dispatches come through on their cell phones? I'd come through on the company tablet that you are assigned to. So I, I don't I don't have to use my cell phone as far as uh, getting dispatches and stuff like that from the company, right? Correct. All right, very good. Can you give me an can you give me an example of how many miles that I can get from from these divisions? Again, it really does depend on the account. It can be anywhere from fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred, depending on the account. Cool. Is the is the dispatch per week? Oh, I'm sorry. What'd you say? I said per week. Awesome. Are the dis are the dispatches forced? Correct. How often would I make it home? Again, it does depend on the position itself. Some positions will be home daily, weekly, every other week, every three weeks, or monthly, depending on that position. Cool. Uh, I only have a few more questions. And again, thank you for the time because I'm I'm writing this stuff down. Can can I come in? Now, I got nine years of experience. If I would like to, can I come in as a trainer? Uh, it depends if we have trainer positions available. So you would have to check online at schneiderjobs.com. What kind of equipment I can expect to be running, and what are they covering that? So we have Freightliner Cascadia trucks. They're going to be about two to three years old or newer, all automatic, and they are governed at 65 miles an hour driving and cruise. Awesome, awesome. Do you guys have cameras in the trucks? Not inside the truck, only on the outsides, facing outwards, and they only catch video, not audio. All right. Benefits, and when do they start? We have full health, dental, vision, and then there's different types of plans benefits go over with you in regards to claiming just you, you and a spouse, you and children, or you, spouse, and children. And that would kick in 60 days after hire. That is six zero. Awesome. Pet and rider policy and what? how young can I bring my rider? Pet policy is only allowed on team positions at this time if it is a pet. And then the rider policy is if you have the last six months of safe driving, then your passenger either has to be 10 years or older for an immediate family member or 18 years or older for non-immediate family member. Do you guys have a team opportunity since you just mentioned that? We have, yep. That would be another thing in regards to checking SchneiderJobs.com to see that availability. Now, is it, what if I don't have a teammate? Will one be a, be assigned to me? It uh, depends on the position itself. Some are able to match you up with a team partner. Others, you do have to come on with your own. What about lease opportunities? That would be with our owner-operator team, which I do not have information on, but I could get you connected so they could give you more information. Awesome. Sign-on bonuses, any? Dependent on the position. All right. And my last question is because we, we started off talking because you said that you guys don't require experience. So for a new driver that's coming in, say, without experience, would they get uh -huh. paid? Would they get paid while they're training? Yes. Everyone coming on with us at Schneider, experienced or inexperienced going through training, does get some sort of pay, um, but that is, again, dependent on position. And you have any idea how long they will have to be out with a trainer in order for them to move up to their own truck? As an inexperienced driver, it can average anywhere between three to five weeks, depending on the position. Inexperienced would be about four to five days. Hey, awesome. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate all of this good information. And again, as I said before, as far as SAP drivers go, you guys don't help with the return to duty status. Correct. Very good, ma'am. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Hope you have a good day. You too now. Snyder, everybody. Once again, you have to do your due diligence, SAP drivers. You you can't just go and just Google companies that accept SAP drivers and it just comes up with a willy-nilly list of companies that are not accepting SAP drivers or even helping you with the return to duty status. Here we have Snyder. That's one of the companies that don't accept SAP drivers, even though they are listed on the list that say they do. Unfortunately, as you guys can hear, they don't. Now, of course, she did say they go on a case-by-case -case basis, 
But as I broke it down to her, I said, do you help with the return to duty status? And she gave us an affirmative no on that. So Snyder, check Snyder off the list of companies that will help SAP drivers get back on the road. But Snyder has a variations of different accounts that you guys can apply for. Not only drive in, but they have intermodal, they have tanker. And to my understanding, I do believe they got flatbed, if if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But in order to find out a little bit more deeper about what they have available, you have to pull in the application. And then after you put in your application on SnyderJobs.com, then they will reach back out to you and you can get a recruiter that will be assigned to you. And then you guys can go into much details of what they have available and what you would like to do. Snyder, if you guys drive for Snyder or driven for Snyder, let us know your experience with Snyder in the comments below. Is it a good company? Is it a bad company? As far as training goes, Snyder will give you the opportunity to train for your CDL. If you do not have them, make sure you check out that make the call video of Snyder training program for CDLs. I'm not, I, I can't remember how it goes, but the, but the, the link to the video will be in the description. Drivers, get your suggestions in now for the next MTC. All right. You can do that by hitting the Gmail. That's lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com or you can just leave it in the comment section as always. And finally, you can support the cause by hitting the cash app. That's dollar sign lockout man. Let us know who you like in the notes and we will get a shout out to you for that call. Thank you for listening. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next?